Hello everybody, it's Anders Diamond. Welcome back to another Overwatch video. In this video, we know we all have lots of Overwatch characters that we love. But there are also those that we don't hate. They're just really annoying to play against if they're good or if they're just bad. Now, this can be something that's kind of confusing to a lot of people, but let me explain. Today we're going to go over the five, top five most annoying um, characters in Overwatch and how to counter them. Number five, Tracer. Now, Tracer's a very interesting character because... She can be a very legitimately difficult character to play, and she often is, but that makes her really annoying. When you have this tracer running around, you'll do something like, this will happen. You will be there, you know, you'll blow her up, she'll have like barely any health, you'll walk up to her, just punch her, and then she'll recall, she'll have full health, zoom around you, get you down to half health, zoom back, then kill you. And that just really frustrates you. And it frustrates just about everybody. But... Here's a few easy ways to counter this crazy and ridiculous and insane, horrible monster known as Tracer. Um, just one hint as well. Um, this is in list of most annoying, of least annoying to most annoying. Five being least, one being the most. Um, so Tracer to counter Tracer, you're going to want to um do a few things. One, use somebody mobile like Genji or another Tracer. This can make it more difficult for her to hit you. And then she will pretty much end up just running around and spraying, praying. Additionally, somebody like a Bastion can work, but generally doesn't. Because, I'm not even going to explain why. But, somebody like Junkrat or Farah will work really well against, um, uh, what's it called? Um, against Tracer. So, I use Bastion, I'm sorry, Junkrat or Farah because they have spray damage. So if you get near her, you'll damage her. And Bastion especially... I'm sorry, a Joker as much as he can throw his little mine thing and then blow everything up and then it's happy. So, you know, that's something very good and something you should probably um, look out for. So, number four is Torbjorn. Now, a, low, a Torbjorn who doesn't really know what he's doing at all and just completely like, oh, this is interesting, will often actually be pretty easy to kill and might even be better for their team than a Torbjorn that's like sort of knows what they're doing. And they're like, turret, hit, 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 level two, hit, 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 hit. Hit, 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 kill, 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 hit, hit, kill, hit, kill, team kill. And it's like, hit, 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 repairing, repairing, repairing. Yes, Molten Core. Yes, you're all dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You are dead. You're also dead. And you're just hitting and hitting and hitting. And then you come back, you're like, I got to play the game. I, I, I killed five people, no ults. It was an amazing. I was jumping and going all crazy. And the performance is like, hey, yes, yes, this, this is amazing. I'm whacking the back of my turret. And this just, I, I, I can't even believe it. And everyone's like, what the heck is amazing? Torbjorn's whacking the back of his turret. We are just in awe here. Okay, um, the way to counter this annoying turret with this annoying aimbot with an annoying amount of damage is by simply using somebody like Genji, who can deflect all its bullets and swift strike at it, and then if he needs to, nunchuck it. Um... And, or Chinese Dragon Chuck, whatever Chinese Dragon Star um, things they're called. Uh, it's not Nunchuck. Um, and then somebody like Junkrat and Soldier 76 also work pretty well. Um, but additionally, if you just crowd it with your team, it'll die. Tanks also work pretty well because they can get in there, kill it before it has time to kill them. Those are generally how I counter it. Um, Junkrat uh, is pretty good because he can just go. Ch -p -p -ch -p boom! Whoop, boom! Uh, and he does a lot of damage if he hits. Um, Please, God, don't use Farah. If you use Farah, you will die. I swear to you, you will die as Farah. And it will just be embarrassing. And you'll be like, oh, I'm dead. Dang it. Um, because Torbjorn's aim will just be pew, 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 pew. Anyways, uh, to continue with this very interesting conversation on Torbjorn's turret, I'm still just doing these scorks because you can go, and launch this triple missile thing. And then just go, pew, 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 pew. Um, and, yeah, it works pretty well. Also, a tank works very well, because it'll just, like, Reinhardt, walk up slowly with a shield, and then just charge it, and it'll be an instant kill. Um, because it doesn't have much health, it's like 100 and 150, maybe. Maybe. Um, number two. Or, sorry, number three. Bastion. Now, honestly, my opinion on Bastion is that he can be really fun to play with on one side. Like, the guy who's killing everybody with him is like, oh, yeah. I'm playing Bastion. This is amazing. I'm killing everybody. I'm on fire the entire game. Um, when what they should be saying is, I'm killing everybody, 
Yay, yippee for me. Isn't that just happy? And it can be, but it's generally, like, not the best thing for the other team. So, with the Bastion turret, it's generally not the best thing for the other team because he'll just sit there like that Bastion's doing there, and he will just attack and rip everything to shreds. To shreds, I'm telling you. And then you're like, okay, there's nothing I can do is in the cornered area. But there is something you can do very easily. Alright, let me explain what that thing you can do is. Alright, with the Bastion turret, switch to a Genji, man up, deflect, 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 he'll be almost dead, swift strike, and if you need to, Ninja Star. Um, you can also just use a, um, don't use tanks, don't use tanks, don't use tanks. Farah can be either really good against him or really bad against him. Uh, Junkrat can also be pretty good, because he can shoot around a corner and bounce his balls off a wall and hit Bastion. Uh, but, no, Ferris is gonna be like, do do flying, yes, die, Bastion! Ferris is gonna be like, ooh, ooh, hold on, let me just finish killing these people. Ah, yes, you're flying in a predictable pattern in the air. Pew, 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 ha, you died. Um, and our number two spot, we've got somebody who you probably weren't predicting, Zenyatta. Now, a bad Zenyatta, you'll just walk around and be like, oh, he's dead. But a good Zenyatta will be healing, because it's not his heal automatically. Healing his allies and healing and making you take more damage. The two most annoying things I hate with Zenyatta, he'll put a Discord orb on you and you'll be like, oh, okay, run, 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 and then he'll be like, zoo, 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 shooting his magical balls at you, which are wrapped around his neck, or he'll just do the thing where he charges up like five balls, and go, or he'll be flying in the air, and he'll be like, or he'll just be just living life and go, and after he puts that Discord orb of Discord on you, or you'll be a soldier 76 with full health, and you'll find a tracer without her mech. Sorry, uh, um, a diva with her mech with full health, and she'll have a orb above her head, okay, and you'll shoot her your little triple missile thing, and you'll go pew, 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 and you'll unroll all your ammo, and she'll be almost dead, and then she'll just heal up immediately, and then you'll be like, okay, that didn't work, and then you'll put a um, biotic field around you, and you'll just pew, 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 and you'll just die, and you're like, that, what that, what the heck, what, 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 um, but there are a few ways to counter this guy. When he's attacking you, don't fear him, just attack him. You can most likely kill him if you don't run away from him. Turn around, pew, 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 make yourself harder to hit, and then you will just win. And you'll be happy, because you didn't die from this really annoying Zenyatta. And when you come across a lone person um, with an orb over their head, you can either attack them, or you don't, you don't have to, though. Uh, it's really up to you. I'd wait till the orb dies, and it'll just take a few seconds. Unless they notice you, in which case you probably should be attacking them. Now, I have an honorable mention, which I want to put in here, and the honorable mention is the, um, is Sombra. Now, Sombra's like Tracer. She will be invisible. She'll put a teleporter in the base, in her base, and then she'll just wait, and then as soon as she's about to die, she'll just teleport back to the teleporter, and then you'll be like, what the heck? And then she'll just, like, walk up and hack you, and you'll be like, and then you'll be like, okay, well, now I can't do anything. And then she won't even kill you, and some other ally will just walk up and shoot you in the face, like we just happened there. Um, but, in all seriousness, there are a few ways to counter this. So first of all, kill her slowly, and she won't be able to really decide whether she wants to uh, return back to her area or kill you. Uh, which, you know, is good, I guess, more or less. Um... So, yeah, it's good, more or less. I don't really know. Um, but, yeah. Um, but it's another simple thing to do. Just kill her slowly, um, deflect her bullets, and be unhackable by... Uh, by simply just being unhackable by running around crazy or just damaging her constantly. Because that will interrupt her hack. Um, those are the biggest tips I have for you to get rid of Sombra. Now, number one pick is Bwahahaha as Symmetra. Symmetra, as you can see here, is the most annoying character in the world. Oh, he, she got a turret kill. Oh, she got another turret kill by just placing a turret. Like Torbjorn, but worse than Torbjorn. Oh my god, she did a ton of damage and just died from another flipping turret. The worst part is, if you use her, and you're like, oh, dude, oh this is great, then... It, it's, it's complicated. I'm but... Just doing my job. Um, if you use her like a pro, then it's not as bad, and it's not as much of a problem. Um, well, but let me explain. She'll go around, you go, and her beam gets more powerful the longer she's attached to you. You'll disconnect from her, 
And you'd be like, yes! Yes! I disconnected from her in time. And then she'd be like, oh, by the way, guys, 10 minutes later, my beam still is powerful. It doesn't get decreased. And you're like, wait, why is that? And then she'll talk to somebody else, and you'll be like, what the heck? It decreased. It's so frustrating. And then you'll walk in, and a turret will blow you up. A simple way to counter this is be a Genji and run away. Um, be a Sombra and teleport away. But her thing will stay locked onto you, so it's kind of tricky. If you can be somebody like a Junkrat, what you can do is you can aim your balls at her, and then you can just throw your little mine at her and blow it up. Uh, which is relatively simple. And, yeah, that those are my five most annoying characters. I hope you guys, you know, Overwatch, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found this, found this slightly helpful. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, uh, you can dislike it at will. Um, and if you like what you see here and the content in general, please subscribe. And uh, leave a comment down below what your five most annoying characters are, and maybe I'll make an updated list. See you all in a future Overwatch episode.